Hey, what's going on guys? Today is a gorgeous day. It feels like spring. It's like 51 degrees or something. Um, minimal wind. The sun is shining. Just one of those things. We got a little bit of a tease. Apparently there's snow coming um, next week. So, it is what it is. So, anyway. Today we got a battle box. This one's kind of a small one. If you could tell compared to my hand here. All right. So they say big things come in small packages. But then they also say that... Uh, Guys, the big trucks are compensating, right? I wouldn't know anything about it. I bought a medium-sized truck, so I don't know what that means. But, anyway, we're going to uh, jump into this box. Today's EDC is an SOG. This is the um, TAC XR. This is an underrated knife, for sure. I've had this one for, like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, something like that. I got this probably a month or two after they were, uh, you know, released to the public. Fantastic little knife. Um, I went with the combo edge just to check that out. Occasionally I do that in my you know, personal preference. I don't like combo edges. I, I definitely dig serrations if they're the right shape serrations and if it's like a fully serrated blade. I think they definitely have a purpose and a lot of people can definitely benefit from them. But in general, the combo edges, eh, not as much. But anyway, fantastic knife. Um, also cheaper than a Benchmade, but I think if you slap a Benchmade logo on that, they could sell it for twice the price. Just one of those things. So sometimes that logo makes a difference on the price, even though the quality is the same. So, what do we got? Okay. So, right out of the gate here, we just got a Grail bottle. These things are really awesome. I just got one in the, uh, the other box um, for the Crate Club. All right, so I'm not going to go over this again, but it is a fantastic little piece of gear. Um, it, it's really fun, but I want to say this is, let me just talk about this for a moment here, even though it's kind of boring for some people. This thing is super cool, but when you're talking about like filtering a lot of water at once, this is definitely not it. This is the weekend, you're going for a little hike, you know, maybe you ran out of water, you go down to a creek or, you know, a lake or a river or something like that, you fill up, you know, so you have a small amount. Um, but like, you know, quote unquote survival, um, obviously this doesn't filter a bunch of water at once. All right. It's only a small portion inside this bottle. So sipping along, but there's some questionable water. This is where it's at. If you're looking to prep for, you know, apocalypse, not so much. Just wanted to point that out, but they are very, very cool and they are very efficient. So let's actually, let's look at this real quick. I get a quick little flip over. No, I flipped too much. <laughs> I flipped too much. Oh no. I don't want to give it any way. All right, is this it? Are these pages? Oh, okay, pages are stuck. Okay, three, two, one. There we go. Mission 108. All right, you can pause there if you want to read that. But there you go. All right, we'll reference that at the end. Wow. That is actually really exciting. I like real steel, and I have not had a blade from them in a long time. So we're going to save that for the end. We got, you know, a little package in here, which I don't know why they put one bubble thing in here. It's not really... It's not cutting it. That's okay. So what is this? Whoop, do we need that? No, we don't. It's got a battery in it. Poseidon Nano, toughest mini battery from Dark Energy. Okay. I have to say, oh, it looks like this one can stick to your cell phone. That's kind of cool. I actually just got a cell phone. We'll talk about that maybe in an EDC update. So let's look at the specs here um power packed pocket power yeah we know all that stuff right built to take drops from 50 feet wonderful 3000 milliamp hour internal battery all right well i mean it's not massive or anything but uh you know power's power like i said i i value all these little you know energy banks and stuff like that especially in today's you know modern times everything's electronic we all depend on our phones and our tablets and our computers and all that kind of stuff right so, pretty cool. I'll check that out later. So, we got that. We got, oh, a compass, a Brunton. First of all, it's been a minute since I've used a compass. And actually, I'll tell you a quick side story. I was somewhere today, and there was a box of American flags. And I was very disappointed to see American flags, you know, literally just put in a ball inside of a tub. And so, I offered the person who was, uh, you know, by them, who owned them, if I can fold them. And I did just that. I folded like six or seven American flags by myself because I'm a Boy Scout and I love America and a lot of people died for that flag. So it was important for me to make sure they were at least respected enough to be, you know, folded properly. So they're actually going to be donated 
I didn't know that until it was all done, but that wouldn't have changed anything, so it's nice at least they're donating it to somewhere, and they'll be folded and ready to go. But the reason I bring that up is because I was a Boy Scout, so I did learn how to use a compass, and Brunton is definitely the best. They were the best in the 90s. Um, so this one is a 9077. I don't know the different, you know, features for different models offhand. Um, Lensatic compass. So this is pretty cool. I do have to touch up my skills, though, as far as, you know, reading a map and using a compass and stuff. I remember Boy Scouts, one of the toughest things we ever did was we had a scavenger hunt, and they were all just different, you know, locations on a map, and we'd, you know, use our compass to figure it all out, and this was, like, early on. I mean, I made it to, I think, first class, and this was, like, it might have been before Boy Scouts, it might have been Cub Scouts, back in the Wolf Pack uh, days, but anyway very cool very handy and this is cool because like if you're not into this stuff and you don't care about this and you get something like this in a box as a surprise maybe you learn about it maybe it helps you one day maybe it doesn't maybe it's just a, a skill set that you'll never use but either way i think it's a fantastic piece of gear all right so what's in this mystery box feels chunky feels like a knife is it a knife it is a knife that is a toothpick. Bonus credit if you put down in the comment section what that's from. Hey man, this looks like a toothpick. No, no, man. Oh, that is a toothpick. Anyway, horrible impression. <laughs> Ooh, Revo knives. I know that logo. Very cool. This is a chunky little guy. Wow, look at that. That is definitely something different. That's got the same belly that I got. <laughs> a whole lot of it. But I can dig it. And we got a button lock here. Ooh, this thing is really cool. Zero play. This thing is interesting. So it's it's got some chunk to it. Metal liners, metal handles, that funky blade. Oh, I dig this one. This one's definitely something different. Again, I can uh, get down with a good button lock. As long as it's, you know, well done, there's no play in there. That's pretty cool, actually. So I was excited for the real steel, but this is actually really exciting. So I'm going to be playing with that, using that. Maybe I'll do a video in the future. So what else we got going on here? Looks like some kind of water thing. Tiny Pump X. Is this a Elon Musk product? I do not know. Five extra nozzles. Okay. Let more people enjoy the outdoors. Interesting. Flextail gear. Never heard of them. 60% compression means nothing to me at the moment because I don't know what I'm looking at. 89 grams, so it's lightweight. Well, compared to, I guess, 10 grams, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> so, And then the five extra nozzles again. So what the hell is this thing? Um, I don't know, there's the weight, um, batteries, 1300 milliamp battery. I mean, tiny pump, pump up your air products in a snap. Okay, there we go, I thought it was water related. Oh, that's pretty neat, a little pocket pump. Oh, I dig that, that makes sense now with the different nozzles. So you can blow up balloons and, you know, maybe your uh, football or something. This is pretty cool now. I totally was thinking this was a water purification product and that none of this made sense until now. So inflates, uh, filling port connect nozzle, connect the object and start filling it, okay. Vacuum storage, select the vacuum bag nozzle, uh, connect the nozzle to your storage bag and start um, exhausting air. Very cool. Camping lantern, is a built-in lantern? Ooh, interesting. All right, I might have to do a separate video on this because uh, that's intriguing. So stay tuned. I might do a separate video on that. And the finale, the real steel knife. This one is a Sacra Tac in G10. Blue-gray plus multi-tool. I am not familiar with this offhand. So we're going to find out together what this thing is. If I can get the box open. Okay, box, paperwork with, is this the multi-tool? Something's heavy in there. Oh, that's cool, a multi-tool. Real steel FTP tool. Ooh, interesting. Those are different torques. Two different torque sizes, and a torque six, hexagonal socket, torques eight, uh, Phillips, and a flathead. That's actually pretty neat. Oh, dropping stuff. Hang on, bear with me. That's uh, the knife schematic. It looks like taken apart. All right, let's look at the knife. I have to say, all these Chinese companies, all these things from around the world, everyone gives you a nice cloth. 
when was the last time you seen something like this from like Benchmade or Spyderco? Not saying it's always necessary, but I feel like every Chinese company sees the value in a cleaning cloth. Now, you're probably not wiping down your, your knives, which ooh, that's kind of cool. We'll get that in a second. But I happen to wear glasses, and these things come in handy. I have these literally everywhere. Every knife that I get with these things, I'm just I'm throwing them everywhere. So I can't go anywhere without having one of these. They do come in handy for that, but I'm curious. Do you guys wipe down your knives? What do you do with these things if you don't wear glasses? Just want to know. All right, so we have an Axis style lock. Ooh, is that glow in the dark? I don't know. It might be. Cool logo. I actually recognize this. You guys let me know who the maker is, or, or rather the designer, because I definitely recognize that. I've had a knife in them before, but I don't know offhand. K110. So yeah, fantastic lockup. Again, Axis style lock, whatever they happen to call it. This is interesting. So the liner, it looks like the liner is one piece. So that the whole frame of the knife is one folded piece of metal. And then we have scales slapped on both sides. That's kind of cool. Um, there is a little area on the back here for dust and dirt to come out. And then the bottom end is opened up. It's a cool design. I mean, it feels good because it's rounded in the back too. I like that. It might trap in a little bit more dust and dirt and stuff in the pocket. Not a big deal though if you blow it out every now and again. Shouldn't be a problem, but very simple blade shape. I do love this little kind of fuller on top that goes off to the edge. Interesting. I am curious if those glow in the dark. Hang on. I got a peek, peek off camera here. They absolutely do. Just from the little bit of sun that's poking out right now because the clouds covered up since I started the video. But those are glow in the dark thumb stud tips. Very cool. Jimpy on the back is functional and it's a comfortable knife. So I dig it. Let's see, let's get a, a shot on both of these knives. Usually the thumbnails, I'll just let it be whatever it is, but I'll give you this thumbnail so you guys can check out the blades. It makes it more exciting, right? So there you go. Very, very cool. I dig it. Mission 108 from Battle Box. Doing it right. Fun stuff. I am definitely, you know what? I actually might give that, that compass to Christina, let her uh, kind of borrow it so to speak, and we're gonna go over that kind of stuff because I've talked about compasses before and I think she knows how to use one, but I don't know fully, and it'd be cool if she had her own and we could play around and do some little exercises and stuff. Because like I said, it's a skill set that might be outdated with all the technology we have. Everyone's got a cell phone with a you know built-in electronic compass. Like Because of all the tech we have around us, you don't have to know anything. You know what I'm saying? People joke around, you know, when I went to high school, a math teacher would say, you got to learn this stuff. You can't walk around with a uh, you know, calculator in your pocket. And, well, that's what we all do. We have a calculator. We have a search engine. We can literally find out almost anything we want in seconds anywhere on this planet. That is amazing. But what happens when the electric goes out? You know what I'm saying? People are prepping for the apocalypse, but you don't know how to use a, a compass. You don't have access to land maps and stuff. What do you do? You can't Google it. So some of the stuff's just fun to learn just because. And hopefully you never have to actually use this information. But, you know, like most information, you don't really need to use a lot of it. But it's nice to have. The more you know, the better. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, let's check this real quick. Actually, before we go, make sure everything's here. All right. So, yeah, that's the, the giveaway page. Shows you all the cool gear. Now, these bottles, looks like there is some different color variants. You might get like a tan khaki one. This one's got orange accents. Black. That's kind of cool. Looks like I got the green. So, I dig it. Revo Canyon. All right. That is in 4CR13 MOV. So, it's a very cool design. It's a softer steel. But um, I'm curious. They don't have a, a retail price on here. I'm curious what that normally sells for. By the way, that's what the tiny pump looks like out of the box. Like I said, may or may not do another video on that. The Brunton Classic. Uh, excuse me. The Brunton uh, Lensatic Compass. All right. A classic design. Dark Energy Poseidon Nano. All right, our Grail Geopress. All black is pretty cool too. Um, the Real Steel Sacra Pro. So this is a Battle Box exclusive. I wonder if that's just the, like the version of it, like the coloration is specific to just, or exclusive just to Battle Box, or if it's the, the whole knife design itself. But that one is in K110. Uh, 2.8 ounces, crossbar lock. And oh, there's the designer right there. Jacob, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna butcher your name, Jacob. But I know I've had a design from him before. For sure. 
Interesting. Okay. What do we got going on here? Whatever's going on out uh, out there, we've got you covered. Scan here for access to Battle Vault. What is Battle Vault? Well, scan there to check it out. And that is it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying the weather wherever you are before the snow comes back. Because, yes, winter is not over. It would be that nice if that's all it was. <laughs> now it's just We've had spring weather for like a week now. And just, you know, truly enjoying it every single moment, indoors or outdoors. It's just nice. I, I can't wait till, uh, till spring. I really can't. I do love the winter. But it's just the driving and the icy conditions, the, the plowing and the snow blowing and shoveling and all that kind of stuff is just gnarly, right? Um, on a winter day, when it's snowing outside and you have nowhere to go, and you got a good movie playing or a board game or something, cup of coffee, whatever your, your bag is, you know, cold beer, um, that's a fun moment, right? But when you actually have to travel in it, not so much. <laughs> so, But I do love all four seasons. I would never give it up. Um, so... Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.